tell you, I'll show you how I cut uh, liquid-type metal-lined flexible conduit. First of all, I take a razor knife and I cut the plastic insulation on the outside. Uh, you know, you can cut this with a hacksaw. Uh, uh, many people do it that way, but I choose to do it a little differently. Uh, it's sometimes when you're in the trenches and you're actually out there uh, building something, you don't have a hacksaw with you. You've got your tool pouch. And the tools that I use are tools that are readily available in my tool pouch. So this, to me, this is the easy way, it's the easiest way to do it. Uh, I'm cutting the inner metal liner now. I usually have a different cutter to do this with, but unfortunately I don't have it with me right now. But anyway, as you can see, it just breaks loose. And if you look inside, you can see what I've done. These are flexible conduit straight connectors. Uh, I'll show you how we put these on. You take this, you slide it over just, just like you did with the strain relief. This has threads on it and it matches the uh, contour of the inside spiral of the metal that's inside of these. You have to get the plastic underneath the cover. I think, yeah, it's in there now. So you screw it down until it's tight. Then you take this, put it here. And when you tighten this down with pliers, it crimps that inside piece onto the liquid type. So I'm going to grab it here and I'm going to tighten it with this. And we'll take it back loose so you can see how it grips. And this will not come off plus it is a watertight seal. Okay now let's loosen it up and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. So once you tighten it, it's really easy to take it back off again. So now we take this off and if you look, see how that's pushed down? There's a crimp on there that, that will not come out now. So you've got a good seal, a uh, good tight fitting that will not come loose. So pull on it, it will not move, all right? We've got another end on here, let's do it. See if it goes a little better than the first one did, I hope so. Okay, slide this on, like so, take this, yeah that's better, and screw that on, put this on there, tighten this up, and grab it with these, and we'll tighten it with these. Tighten it down good, and it should crimp just like the other end did. That's pretty tight. All right, let's loosen it now. We'll show you again how that all works out. And these are half inch. Uh, the Others were three quarter inch, but this is a half an inch and it, it already has the lock nut on it with a seal. It, it will seal the, uh, it'll seal the box so that water can't get in. And if you look, you can again see that there's a crimp there now. So now this is a one solid piece. It's uh, well sealed from one end to the other. And now we can run the wire through here, through these two ends. And we've got a uh, piece of conduit with, uh, with the wiring in it. It's not too bad, huh? So again, we go around with the razor knife, we cut the plastic. Now, bend the tubing. You just 
and it pops. When it pops, you just take your good your pliers. These are stay on pliers, and it's not always easy, but it always works. So there you go. So now that was a little easier. Now there's there's what we just did. I did the same thing on this end and the same thing on this end. Now let's get it. We'll do the straight first. Uh, slide the nut on. You slide this in and it should grab. When it does, you just screw it in. Again, it's going to be difficult. Okay, there it goes. Okay. So it's in there good and tight. Now you take this, slide it on here, and then you put the nut on. And again, when I tighten this up, it, uh, it should crimp and form a good seal on the inside that is liquid tight. So no liquids can get inside. Now, okay, I felt it crimp. Now we'll loosen it. Take a look at it and make sure it looks correct. <laughs> okay. Once you break it loose though, it's easy. But again, you see where that pushed down and now it's good and tight. So now we've got a good seal on this end. Uh, and we have a different name brand and different type all together on the 90s for some reason. Don't know why we have that, but we do. So this goes on first. The nut, just like the other. This one has a compression on it. It's, uh, and then this just slides in and it screws right in. Since that's what all we have right now, but you just, you, these, this tight, you just screw it in until it tightens up, until it comes flush to the top. And there it is. So it's flush, now we'll run this up and now we take that put it on and uh, now we'll tighten this up. This one, like I said, this one's very different, so we'll tighten it up. And, uh, get it good and tight. Again, when you're in the field, you use what you have available. Uh, most people don't carry a hacksaw with them. So this to me is the quickest way to do it. Uh, and it works just as well as a hacksaw. In some cases, I think it actually works better. Uh, but. Okay, now let's loosen it up. Make sure we got a good seal, which I think we do. Then all I have to do is run the wire on the inside of it and it should be good to go. Again, these are not quite the same as the others and I prefer the other type. But we'll work with what we've got. So there it is. Now, okay, see, now it is sealed. It, it did crimp down, but the plastic crimped down rather than the metal, so, but it works, so it's no big deal. So now we have a straight on one end and a flex and a 90 on the other. We have another piece of flex ready to go. End of the project.